Hey there guys, someone asked me to show the big bridge exploration now that we've got the, you know, awakened units, the free unit cater, etc. So we're going to be showing an all mission clear using a very, very basic and cheap team, cheap gear, free units, etc. We're going to grab a cater friend, just make sure you, you found one that like has gear equipped basically. Um, other than that, not much else matters. And we're going to bring the Awakened Sice and the Awakened Benevolent Beauty Rim. And we're going to leave two party slots empty. And we're going to do this exploration. This is going to be super simple now that we have the um, Awakened units. So for the, um, the trash mobs, I didn't realize when I did my video on day one a week or, a week or so ago that you can just either kill these with a death move or more easily escape from them. And we're getting quite lucky that no trash mobs are battling us. Are we going to get to the, the final boss with no, no trash mobs at all? Nope, of course not. Okay, so we are going to have Benevolent Beauty Ram, or anyone really, uh, just run away. We're going to use the escape <coughs> materia. This is a one-star trust mastery from Paul, the friend point unit. You can also use things like Jeremiah's boots or smoke bombs, or you can just kill the enemies too if you really want to. You know, we're just going to run away because... We just don't really care that much, completely honest here. So we're going to just run away and get this nice and handled. There we go. So the first mini boss, this is not the real final boss, so don't use your Magnus abilities and all that, is going to be Helldiver. So what we're going to do, we're going to have Rem. We're just going to kill this on either turn one or turn two. Either way, it doesn't matter that much. We're going to have Rem do... Uh, we're gonna fire in peril because one of our units are, are, are our units are all using fire weapons So we're gonna fire in peril and then we're going to break sight for a little bit of um, Machine killer then Sice will LB and we'll chain the LBs of the caters and If we deal damage great if not we're up to as we can see the friend is not using an elemental weapon So they're not uh, elemental chaining it doesn't matter that much so the boss is gonna jump on turn one really Nothing else really matters. Like, we're going to have Cater just go ahead and do Fire and Bue for himself. Friend Cater, Fire and Bue for himself. Sice can do You're Dead. Don't use your Magnuses. And then Rem can just... Um, you know what I should have done earlier is... Uh, let's see. Monalchemy twice and... Oh, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Uh, we're just going to Monalchemy for Mana Regem. So the boss is going to land on our Provoker with Evasion and Miss. And then we're going to kill with Sice. I'm sorry, we're going to kill with the uh, the DPS units, not just Sice. Although Sice will be helping. So we're going to go ahead and chain Sice first, and then chain the rest. Just so the chain doesn't break. It broke anyway, because awesome. <laughs> Whatever, who cares. Uh, there it is. The mini boss is now dead. So now we're going to go back to the um, beginning of the map. And I'll show you the gear and all at the end of, end of the video. Uh, but hopefully... Um, we don't get many encounters. I might cut the video if we get into like 55 encounters along the way. But, uh, you know, we're going to try to not. So we'll just escape from every single battle. And hopefully we only get one or two on the way. If we, get, if we get into another encounter, which I'm sure we're going to, I'll cut the video and we'll resume when we hit the final boss. Yep, yeah, I'll see you at the final boss in about one second. Okay, guys, we've made it back to the beginning of the map. This is the real final boss. This is going to be against Gilgamesh. Okay. So we're going to give it just a moment. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of damage on turn one, but we do not want to push this boss below 50%. So if you try it and you burst on turn one and you go bring the boss to like 42% or something, either you're overpowered for this clear and just don't damage on turn one until you do your setup, or just break your chains, you know, etc. So we're going to just have Sice cater and um the friend do this and we're gonna chain this up we're not gonna debuff or anything with uh with rem so we're not gonna have any kind of imperil so we intentionally do less damage and even then we with no imperil at all we still did a whole lot of damage so that's a little risky um if we imperiled we would have done too much damage and you can turn one otk this guy obviously if you're using a strong team but if you're using a strong team you probably don't need this guide anyway so whatever so now rem's gonna go ahead and just um Twin spell will do uh, live on for the mitigation <clears throat> and then monalchemy for some mana regen, although no one needs mana. So the boss, very, very low damage. We're using um, 
uh, Obsidian Bracer to break the boss, etc. Uh, and the boss is dealing, as you can see, very, very minimal damage. He does a lot more damage if you push him below 50, so don't do that. He has no buffs this turn, which is nice. So we're going to use the Caters to do Men Prepare to Fire, Fire Imbue, and White Thunder Ready for Rumble. Same one with the other one. Uh, charging fire, men prepare to fire, and white thunder ready to rumble. Sice on this turn can do uh, three turns. Yeah, that's good. We'll do you're dead. And Rem on this turn can just uh, not a whole lot going on here, truth be told. So we'll just do a healing prayer and another monalchemy to heal the party's mana. We're going to be bursting on turn four, by the way. Now, on turn three, the boss does get some buffs. So, we're going to deal with that. We're going to use Rem. Yeah, the boss still has mitigation, so we're not going to burst on turn three either. We're going to be bursting on turn four. So, Rem from an Esper will just use a Dispel. You could also use, you know, an item, whatever. Items are allowed. Holy Torch would be fine. But you want to Dispel the defense buff. And again, don't push the boss below 50 yet. So Sice on this turn can just do Reaping Grudge for the 87 breaks. Uh, Cater can just do... We'll just triple. We'll just do um, the... You know that actually doesn't fire in peril? I thought it did. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So we'll just do... Honestly, we'll just guard the Caters. Whatever. So the boss has no fire in peril. I don't think it's even going to matter, completely honest here. Because we, we have um, the SOBs and all. So we'll do the SOB of you. We'll do the... Let's have Rem, who can be geared for damage if you really want to. We don't really need to. So we're going to triple... We're going to do... Does she have Bolting Strike in her kit? She does. We'll do triple Bolting to chain with uh, Sice's SLB and Cater's SLB. So the boss doesn't have a fire in peril other than the undispellable fire in peril from... Um... He has physical mitigation still. Why is that? It's turn four. He shouldn't have that. He shouldn't have that. We still killed the boss regardless because whatever... And we didn't have a Fire in Peril other than the Obsidian Bracer. And we only used two then. Okay, that's a little... St I, thought the, I thought the mitigation goes away on turn four. I must be completely mistaken here. But, um... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I couldn't show you the gear. I'll, I'll show you the gear in one second. Uh, the friend's gear was basically the same as my Cater's gear. Anyway, I showed you the damage breakdown. Um, there's a damage breakdown from the clear. So as you can see, the friend... Uh, geared similar. There it is. You can see the attack power. Oh, damn it. I clicked. Well, you could have paused the video. Um, but we're not going to do that. I'll show you my team's gear. It's very cheap gear. Other than Clash of Wills gear. Um, I, I always call it Clash of Wills gear cheap gear because I feel like it is because it's free gear. Although I do realize it's time intensive gear. So even though the gear is free, uh, a newer player obviously will not have Clash of Wills gear on day one. But the rest of the stuff is very cheap. Give it a minute, it'll load in a moment. That's why I wanted to show you this during the, the clear itself. But um, it's kind of thrown off, kind of thrown for a loop when uh, the boss had mitigation when I didn't think he should. Anyway, Rem's on an Esper for Dispel, or you could use an item. She's Passive Provoke, Full Evasion. Other than that, Obsidian Bracer. And we gave her Escape. Escape is a one-star Trust Mastery from Paul, the friend unit. You could also use Jeremiah's boots. You could also just kill the trash enemies, you know, on on the clear. Uh, Sice is using a fire weapon so that we could just, you know, burst on turn one on the on the, the mini boss easier. Other than that, um, just damage, LB damage versus humans and beast, and as I'm the humans and machines. And as you can see, all this gear is very very cheap gear, very very simple stuff. We're not using like you know A2s, STM or anything like that. Uh, maxed LB, maxed human, maxed machine, and then Cater. Uh, we went with a dual wield build so we could give him a fire weapon easily. That's just, that's just so we can burst on turn one on that jumping guy easier. Uh, LB damage versus machines and humans. There it is. You know, very, very cheap gear. Um, that's the super old type zero card, and we're maxed on everything. And there it is. And the friend was geared pretty similar to mine. Okay. And two party slots empty. You know, we, you could add things like the uh, the new the new Deuce uh, Kurosame with his crowns could obviously do a lot. 
completely honest here, the old Machina and Queen aren't really doing much for you, but you can bring them if you can bring them if you really want to. Or the or the new units, you know, Ace, etc. Uh, anyway, there was an exploration for Type-0. I will see you for the news tomorrow. Later.